Hello there, this is Is English Joy, and welcome to our new video on Half to Level Four Lesson Plan. The title: Understanding Half to and Obligations. Objectives. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to number one. Understand the meaning and usage of the phrase have to to express obligations or responsibilities. Understand the meaning and usage of the phrase have to to express obligations or responsibilities. Number two, use have to correctly in sentences to talk about obligations in their daily lives. Use have to correctly in sentences to talk about obligations and their daily lives. Number three, differentiate between have to and want to to express different intentions. Differentiate between have to and want to to express different intentions. And this lesson has a duration of about 45 to 60 minutes. Materials needed Number one, whiteboard or chalkboard Number two, markers or chalk Number three, have two and one two cards prepared in advance Each with an obligation or desire written in it Number four, sentence strips or index cards And pencils Lesson proper. Number one, introduction, and this has a duration of five minutes. A. Start by asking the students if they have any responsibilities or obligations they need to fulfill regularly. Start by asking the students if they have any responsibilities or obligations they need to fulfill regularly. B. Present a few examples of obligations such as doing homework, brushing teeth, or helping with household chores. Present a few examples of obligations such as doing homework, brushing teeth, or helping with household chores. Let us see. Introduce the phrase have to as a way to talk about these responsibilities. Introduce the phrase have to as a way to talk about these responsibilities. Number two, understanding have to, and this has a duration of 10 minutes. A. Write the phrase have to on the board. Write the phrase have to on the board. B. Explain that have to is used when we talk about things we must do or things that are necessary or required. Explain that have to is used when we talk about things we must do or things that are necessary or required. C. Provide examples of sentences using have to and ask students to identify the obligations in each sentence. Provide examples of sentences using have to and ask students to identify the obligations in each sentence. Number three, differentiating have to and want to. And this has a duration of 10 minutes. A. Introduce the phrase want to and explain that it is used to talk about things we desire or wish to do but are not necessarily required to do. Introduce the phrase want to and explain that it is used to talk about things we desire or wish to do but are not necessarily required to do. B. Provide examples of sentences using one, two, and ask students to identify the intentions in each sentence. 
provide examples of sentences using want to and ask students to identify the intentions in each sentence. C. Compare and contrast have to and want to to highlight the difference between obligations and desires. Compare and contrast have to and want to to highlight the differences between obligations and desires. Number four, obligations and desires sorting activity. This has a duration of 15 minutes. A, divide the class into small groups. Divide the class into small groups. B, distribute the have to and want to cards randomly to each group. Distribute the have to and want to cards randomly to each group. Instruct the students to read the cards and sort them into two categories, obligations, have to, and desires, which is want to. Have each group share their sorted cards with the class and discuss their choices. Have each group share their sorted cards with the class and discuss their choices. Number five, using have to in sentences, and this has a duration of 10 minutes. A. Hand out sentence strips or index cards to each student. Hand out sentence strips or index cards to each student. Ask the students to write a sentence on their card using have to to talk about one of their daily obligations. Ask the students to write a sentence on their card using have to to talk about one of their daily obligations. C. Encourage them to be creative and think about different responsibilities they have. Encourage them to be creative and think about different responsibilities they have. Once they finish writing, have the students share their sentences with the class. Once they finish writing, have the students share their sentences with the class. And number six, conclusion. And this has a duration of five minutes. A. Recap the main points of the lesson, emphasizing the meaning and usage of have to to express obligations. B. Ask students to reflect on their own obligations and how they can use have to in everyday conversations. C. End the lesson with a fun game or activity related to the topic if time permits. End the lesson with a fun game or activity related to the topic if time permits. And homework, this is an optional activity for you guys. As a homework assignment, students can write a short paragraph describing their daily routine and obligations they have to fulfill using the phrase have to. As a homework, use, as a homework assignment, students can write a short paragraph describing their daily routine and the obligations they have to fulfill using the phrase have to. Assessment. Assess students' understanding through their participation in discussions, the sorting activity, and the sentences they write using have to. Observe if they can correctly differentiate between obligations and desires using have to and one, two, and their sentences. Assess students' understanding through their participation in discussions, the sorting activity, and the sentences they write using have to. Observe if they can correctly differentiate between obligations and desires when using have to and want to and their sentences. So there you go, guys. That's the end of this lesson plan on understanding have to and obligations i hope you found this helpful and if you like this video please do subscribe like share and let me know your thoughts and questions love to hear from you good luck and thanks for watching